YouTube, what's up? It's your boy who is King Sean, and we back again with another classic. You know, on this channel, we talk about personal credit, we talk about business credit, we talk about anything to get you and your family to that next level. So today, we're going to be talking about the Toyota credit card pre-qualification. This is going to be easy one. They're backed by Community Bank. Just to let you know, that's their underwriter. Now, this will be a soft pull. Let me make it clear. This is a soft pull. But they do look at Equifax. So just to keep you, give you a heads up, they will be looking at your Equifax um, credit report to determine to qualify you and what they could qualify you for. Now, this is pretty easy. This is pretty simple. This is a no-brainer. I don't want to hear anybody making any excuses. So right here, what do this says? Find out if you pre-qualify with any impact to your credit score, right? Start with this form. It's quick, easy, and secured. Check without impacting your credit. Get your results instantly. Car members get more, more benefits, more savings, more exclusives. So again, all you're going to do, which is going to be very easy and very simple, you're going to put your first name, middle name, last name, social security. Um, yes, it's like I said, it's no hard pull, but they got to verify who you are to make sure everything is correct. You're going to put your annual income. It doesn't matter if you only make five, ten thousand dollars a year. We understand everybody has to be on some kind of level. Everybody's different. So you're going to put your annual um, income right there. You're going to scroll right down. Um, <clears throat> contact information, address and everything. And then right here, you'll go through everything right here. You know, conditions and everything. And then it's nice and simple. And then you'll press agree. And then you can apply. It's simple. Now, if you out there and you're trying to add more trade lines to your credit report, if your score is in that graveyard that we talked about, and you're trying to get it from that graveyard to that 700, I say this will be a great card to apply for. Now, if you have a 700 and higher, you don't want to apply for a card like this. But if you're in that graveyard to that 700 window, um, this is going to be a great card. You can add quickly, instantly, in 30 days, 40 to 50 points onto your credit report. Now you're saying, hey, what am I going to do with this card? Because it actually, this is a star card. It's not a Visa card. Before we get into that, I'm going to show you right here um, so you don't get confused. This is the card with the visa where you could use it anywhere, but we're not talking about that. This is not a pre-qualified one that you can do. Um, we're going to stay right here to the store card. Now you might be asking me, what am I going to do with this card? I can't do none. I ain't got no Toyota. I got a Lexus. I got a BMW. What am I going to do with a Toyota card? Now the point off the back is that it's not about the card. It's about you building your credit profile and adding more accounts to it. But if you want to get in details, what you can do with this card, you could go into the Toyota dealership. You could go into their stores and you want to buy shirts. You want to buy hats. You want to buy a keychain. You want to buy anything. You want to get an oil change for your card. You can use this card. If you need to buy any parts, any brakes, um, any kind of parts for the car, if it's a Toyota, you could use this a card. So um, the key is not really about what you're going to buy with it. It's about you adding this next account to your credit profile to build your score up. Because again, if you're in that graveyard to that 700, you could add an easy 40 to 50 points onto your credit score. So again, people, this is pretty simple. This is a no brainer. You should be able to open this application uh, go ahead and fill it all out, get pre-qualified, see what you could get approved for. And then at that point you go, uh, go ahead and pull the trigger. And at least if you get a hard inquiry, at least, you know, you're approved and you're adding another account to your credit report. So again, people, I appreciate all your support. I don't want to hear no excuses. I want to see you on my Instagram message. I want to see you underneath this video with the comments that you got approved and what you got approved for. So think about every account you keep adding on that credit report is going to shoot that score up even more. But again, if you got a 700 and plus, do not be applying for this card because it might only go up five points. And at that point, once you're at 700, you don't want to keep adding accounts because it could affect you. But between that graveyard and that seven, you're all good to go. It's no excuses. I don't want to hear no excuses. Get your ASS up. Do the work. 
Like, comment, subscribe. But for now, I'm up out of here.